I purchased this plant from Triffid Nurseries as Drosera dialziana subspecies transvol, but as you can see it actually more closely resembles Drosera nitiformis, and I unfortunately it seems there's a bit of confusion about this species, um, but regardless it's a very beautiful sundew, and it has some really nice vibrant red coloration. It's pretty heat tolerant during the summer months it might kind of turn a bit brownish but regardless, it's able to survive um, year-round in, in pretty warm climates. And as you can see, with a compared to a quarter, um, its diameter is a bit larger than a quarter. I'd, I'd probably say it's actually about an inch and a half and three quarters across when it's fully allowed to expand and, and it's not clumped like this. But um, as you can see, they're very beautiful, especially in clumps like this. And regardless of its identity, it might be... Um, a hybrid between Drosera dialziana or natalensis and Drosera nitiformis, but at this point it's pretty hard to tell and I'll, I'll keep you posted with any updates I have. Um, I've been able to spread around a, a, quite a bit of seed from this because um, it flowers non-stop as you can see from these spent flower stalks in this picture, um, but one problem I have is that the flower stalks burn up in my fixtures since I grow this in a pretty tall pot and I usually have my fixtures within just two inches of of the plants. I've raised them uh, so I could get a better shot of them for this uh, video. But um, I'll keep you posted with any updates I have as I, as I mentioned. And um, But there you have it. This is a species I grew from seed. This is two years old. Drosera dielziana subspecies transvol.